It's not here? The hole with the scent of the thousand year ginseng embedded. J just who was it? He may still buy be in the nearby area. Commencing pursuit magic. Target will be found if within 300 meters. Commencing pursuit. Cave? The trace leads all the way to the inside. This is... A familiar smell. Samgyetang! Crunch? No way. No way, right? Yup, Samgyetang is best with actual ginseng. Huh. Hey. Gulp. Is, is that... That's not a thousand year ginseng, right? Yup. I thought thousand year ginseng who in the right mind would make chicken soup out of something like that? Munch munch. Yup. Me. Leveling up by only eating. Hello everyone and welcome back to Work Around and today we got leveling up by only eating. It is actually a pretty good webtoon and I'm gonna talk about why. So the main character is sick. She has bulimic alpelsia, if all, that's, a, that's, a, that's an eating disorder. Uh, characters by binge eating followed by purging or fasting and you can die from it. And I think that's a fictional variant, although I'm not completely sure. The medical nerds can write it in the comments if anyone watches this video. And but anyways, and essentially this character is like super fat, and you know he his dad is super rich, but he's in a rich family. But he's fat, and because of that, he got embarrassed of his body, and he cut off everyone in his social life, and now he's kind of slightly depressed. Then we get a genius idea. You see, there's this virtual reality game called Athens. But he, he, and you can eat a lot in Athens, and you can actually taste the food within virtual reality. And therefore, he can eat whatever the freak he wants, and he'll be fine. So he decides to join this MMORPG type virtual reality video game, like Sword Art Online for example, for the sole purpose of fucking eating. <laughs> And, and because of that, he spends like hours and hours just eating, eating, just not doing nothing but eating. And he gains a job or a, a type of power where he's the, the food god. Essentially, he just keeps eating stuff and making stuff and he just becomes super, super overpowered. And I, th I just thought that it was just really fucking wholesome. Like, he just cooks stuff and eats it. And honestly, you know, there's a bunch, there's like a thousand different types of, you know, Western cuisine, Korean cuisine, Asian cuisine. All the types of cuisine appear in this book. And every time I read it, I feel freaking hungry. Because every single episode, he cooks up something ridiculously good from everything from vir in virtual reality and eats it. And he's happy with that. And I, I just love that con concept. It's really cute and it's really healing, and even though the conflict, there is conflict, and he still does game quests, and fights the bad guys, and has conflicts with other players, like every kind of webtoon where you're in a video game, it's not the, it's just the main character having some fun trying to get some goddamn food, you know? And, like, literally anyone can understand that and relate with that, right? And I thought that was just awesome. And I also thought that it was really creative because the fact is, like, you know, like, if you have an eating disorder, like, you know, the, in the future, this could be a thing. Like, as long as you trick your brain into thinking you're eating in virtual reality, then you might not feel as hungry. And I think this raises some interesting questions. Like, oh, well, after you eat there and then come outside, do you still feel the satisfaction of eating that you felt uh, in the game? Or, or can you replace eating in real life, obviously not completely, by eating in, like, you know, in, in the game? Because, like, for example, in real life, you could just eat literally nothing but granola bars, but you could still be eating a fucking feast in, in the virtual reality, and you would still have, I guess, the satisfaction, right? The psychological satisfaction that you get from eating, right? So, I don't know, I thought it raises some interesting questions, and I thought that the concept was pretty good, um, it's really interesting, and I thought that it was just a really fun webtoon in general. 
and every 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 single time I what I read it I feel very 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 hungry and I thought that you know it was just it was just pretty good and and I really like it and that's why I put it in a C tier because of course you know there's not a huge lot of conflict there's not a huge lot of plot but it does get me hungry every time which you know is a testament to the descriptions and the drawings of the author and I just, I just thought it was, I just thought it was good. And I thought it's very wholesome. There's a lot of food in it. There's some fun conflict in it. It's pretty comedic, as you saw from that entry scene that I just read out. And I would recommend it for people who want to get really hungry or find out about Korean food because there's a lot of Korean cuisine in in this book, in this webtoon. So yeah, that's it. And yeah, like always, yeah, that was webtoon rant. Have a great day, everybody. See everyone.